everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a what items do I still recommend from my first baby registry video. I'm going to do a second video talking about what I would add on to my registry this time for baby number two, but I'm just going to go through on the website here, um, this is from babylist.com, I'll talk about why I love that later, and I'm just going to say whether I used it and if I would recommend it or not. You will be able to see all the prices under each item here, and let's get started. So, Mother Love Nipple Cream. I used it for the short time that I did breastfeed and I really loved it. I would keep it on there. Lanzano breast pads, uh, these are disposable. I never actually used these because I didn't have leaking issues, but if I were you, I would not put these on there and I would just get reusable ones that you can wash because it's more environmentally friendly and just because then you don't have to spend money on those. Uh, next are gift cards. You can put whatever you want on there. Amazon, Wegmans, Bye Bye Baby, Target. Gift cards are a great thing to put on your registry because sometimes people just don't know what to buy you and they'd rather just give you the money and then you can get what you want. So I say gift cards all the way. Baby gear, Outlet Smart Sock, definitely a pricey item. Um, you can have people chip in for an item um, so don't, not just one person has to buy it. So I would definitely put this on there 100%. It was great for us even as second time parents. I'm still going to use the one we had from our first baby with our second baby. And this just gave us peace of mind and it was amazing. Love it. Uh, pack and play. You can just get a really simple pack and play. You don't have to get the one with the bassinet or anything else in it. They sell these even cheaper depending on what type you get. You can get them for I think $40. I got one recently for my mother. And yeah, definitely set up a pack and play on there. They are great for travel. You can use it as your bassinet in your room if you want to. And we still use ours, you know, Every once in a while when we travel with my family, my mother has one and that's what Miko sleeps in when he is at their house and he's almost two. Uh, next is a some sort of play mat. These are really great when they're really young, has a little mirror they can look into. These toys can actually go down on the second rung here and so they can play with the toys. Oh, Miko loved this when he was really tiny. I'm sure it's in some of our older vlog videos, but um, you can find them online probably for cheaper somewhere, but these are really great. I would keep these. Um, next is a rock and play. We did love ours um, for Miko, but they are on recall. So that's all I'm going to say about that one. I don't even think you can probably put them on your registry anymore. So safety first. Uh, next is a diaper bag. This is specifically from Target. We love this thing. Um, it works great for cloth diapering. There's so many different pockets you can put in here. We used it for formula and cloth diapering. It has lots of room and it's a backpack, which believe me, you're going to want a backpack. Just Trust me on that. So definitely this would be one I would put on my registry. For transportation, um, I had this Binksy hammock cart uh, thing on my list. We never got it. I still kind of want to get it, but it is not a necessity. Um, you can just put the baby either in their uh, car seat and put it in there and get less groceries, or you can take them out, put them in a carrier, and then you'll just fine. But this looks kind of cool, so I would still... Put it on your registry if you can get it. I'm going to leave links for everything down below that's on this registry. And um, I'm going to give you one that is the full price and then one that's about half the price that I found. So yeah, I would still get it. Next is a convertible car seat. Um, you're not going to need this right away. And most items in your registry are things you want to use right away. But I would recommend any of the larger items that you're going to need a little bit later on even. Put them on your registry. That way, you know, if you are really lucky and you have people buying you more expensive things or people chipping in, it's totally worth it so that you don't have to be shelling out, you know, $200 later on when you have a young child. Um, this bird tax works really great. The only con I would say is it doesn't have a cup holder. So maybe don't specifically get this one, but I'll also leave the link down below for the other one we have, which does have a cup uh, holder and you can put snacks in it and that saves your life when traveling. So um, not this one specifically, but put a convertible car seat. Next, I'm going to do both of these at once. This is the Graco Molds travel system. And then here's just an extra base. I would always recommend if you have at least two cars and you're using an infant car seat, put in a base um, in each car seat, in each car, and then you can just click the car seat back and forth. It is way easier. Um, but we really love this travel system. This is a great stroller. We use it now as a regular stroller with our son. Um, it has a great basket. It can go through snow. Um, it works really great in my opinion. So I loved this one. It's a really good size too. <clears throat> Next is going to be clothes and accessories. Um, if you're having a winter baby, uh, I would say this is fun if you're going to take your baby out quite a bit. 
when you know you're playing with older kids or you walk a lot um, things like that we didn't do that too much when Mika was younger so we never actually used one so I wouldn't put it back on there but you know you can um, this is just something I put because I thought it was cute I got it and it was cute um, again, if you want to be really minimalist with your clothes, just get a bunch of either short sleeve or long sleeve white onesies and then some pants or something like that and you're good to go. These are really cheap. Um, you can get, you know, all different packs of five, packs of ten, I think, um, all different months. So I would definitely recommend those. These bibs I would recommend um, up until they're eating solids because they don't have a pocket. But if it's just for a drooling bib or for when they're just, you know, using like drinking a formula, breast milk, whatever that is. Um, these do work really great and they're super cheap. You get 10 of them um, for about $15 and they're super good quality and you know, they're the rainbow, so why not? Swaddle blankets. I would not recommend getting Aiden and Anais if you don't wanna have to spend the money on them. They are more expensive. A lot of the companies out there, Target, other brands make swaddle blankets that are much cheaper and they're just as good. Wash them a few times and they're gonna be just as soft and you know, they're just going to get both the body fluids on them anyway. So <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily recommend these, but put swaddle blankets of some sort on there. Um, next is the Kindy Cozy Bottle Warmer. We never got it, and I don't think we would have ever used it. We actually had a baby breast of formula maker, which I will talk about in our next video um, with my registry number two, but I don't think you're ever going to need one of these, in all honesty. My child took cold formula. He took warm formula. He did not care which one. Um, if you do have a picky baby, then you might need it, but again, I really don't think you do. Uh, pacifier clips. Maybe not necessarily this one, because these are kind of expensive in all honesty. Um, I would just use like the ones from Target, which I'll leave whatever ones I recommend down below. Uh, pacifier clips save your life if you have pacifiers. Just believe me on that. Next is the support chair for the IKEA high chair. I don't have the IKEA high chair on here. Um, the Antelope, I think it's called. I'll put a little picture here. Um, just of what it looks like, but definitely get the support pillow if you're going to get the high chair because then you can start your child in that chair much younger than if you don't. And believe me, this was super awesome and we loved our high chair. So I recommend that too, even though it's not on this registry. Next is Comatomo bottles. If you want to put them on your registry and someone's willing to buy them for you, aka because they're expensive, do it. They're 100% worth it. I love them. If you don't want to do that or you're not sure what bottles you want, um, you can see here, Babylist also has what's called a bottle box. So if somebody wants to get you, it's like a little sample pack of bottles. That's a really another great idea too. Um, so you could do either of those. I would recommend either these or do a sample pack. Next are these Gerber Bird's Eye uh, pre-fold cloth diapers. We did not use these for cloth diapers. We actually use them for burp rags, spit rags, any sort of rag. Um, they are super cheap. You get a pack of 10. They're about a dollar per rag, I guess. Um, and they absorb everything because they're four cloth diapers. So they absorb lots of liquid. Believe me, don't get bougie, um, you know, burp rags or anything like that. Just get these. They're great. Um, the drying rack, the grass drying rack. These are really great. I use them because we use formless. We use a lot of bottles. I actually had two of these. And they just look really nice. Again, you don't need to have them. So if you don't want it, you don't have to. But I would add on my register. I think they're great. Uh, Munchkin cleaning brush set. If you use bottles or any sort of small childlike toys, these are going to come in handy. Um, it's only three bucks, so definitely add it to your list. Believe me, you'll it'll be worth it. Um, this one, I would say, yes, get it. You're not going to need it right away until your child's actually like standing up in the bathtub, which will be much older. But when they do, um, you know, you don't want to forget to have one of these. They actually are really great, and our child plays with the spout cover all the time. Baby bath thermometer. Oh, don't put it on your registry. You're not going to end up needing to use it. Just use your common sense. Stick your hand in. Believe me, you can tell if it's hot enough. If it's hot enough and or too hot for your child. Um, as for shampoo, the Cetaphil smells amazing um, with the Calendula. I don't know that's how you say it. It works really great. It smells really great. We still use it. Totally recommend it. Diapering. If you're cloth diapering, these travel wet bags are amazing. They're only $14 for three of them. We are still using them almost two years later for when we put in our diaper bag with our cloth diapers. Definitely recommend them. Um, and then we have larger ones of a similar type when we stay at home. 
Next is baby washcloths. These I would definitely not recommend, the Neat Solutions. They looked really cute because they're bright in colors, but they're actually really bad quality. They're just flimsy. Um, you can probably just use your own washcloths, to be totally honest, if they're soft enough. Um, but I can try to leave the ones that we have down below if I can find them that I actually like. Diapers. Definitely, if you're going to use disposable diapers, put them on your registry. Um, put as many as you want, because if you're going to use disposables, you're going to need a lot of them. Um, I would just work with maybe one pack of newborns, or maybe two if you want to be safe about it, just because you don't even know if your child's going to fit into newborn diapers, depending on what size they come out. So size one is usually a little bit of a safer bet. We use newborns for a short time, but not too long. Um, and these are Earth's Best. I use these because I'm like, oh, they're environmentally friendly, blah, blah, blah. In all honesty, you can just use whatever brand you want, and it's perfectly fine. Water wipes. I would not put these on my registry. They worked just fine. They are great, but they're just so expensive. You can get ones that are way cheaper from your local store, and they work just as great. So I would just put the Target brand or whatever, you know, your local, we have a Wegmans, we use Wegmans brands wipes, love them, they're great. So save your money, don't get the water wipes. Um, Fisher Price Stone Gold Bassinet, really love this. This is what we used when Miko was in our bedroom as our bassinet because it's actually a really small size. And I just like it because it actually folds up, all of these little arms come apart, it just collapses and it's really great for travel. So if you want to travel bassinet other than the pack and play, this works really great when they're smaller. Now for sheets for your crib. Um, in all honesty, I would just get a Newton baby mattress, which I'll leave a link down below. And that is a breathable mattress. You do not need to have a, um, a sheet on there. That's actually something they recommend is not. But if you're going to get a sheet, don't sport for the Burt's Bee $18, way too expensive. Just get a Jersey cotton fitted sheet, something cheap from Target. They work just fine. And believe me, if they're going to get dirty, you don't need to spend a lot of money on a sheet. Okay, next, health and safety items. Safety swabs, you don't need these. These are actually really bad quality in my opinion. And you're supposed to just use a wipe and not stick anything in your baby's ear anyways. Tylenol, life saver. Get infants Tylenol. Whether it's this one or the generic brand, believe me, we still use it. Oh my gosh, you need it. Um, saline drops. We use these sometimes with our booger sucker, which you'll see down below. We never use gripe water, so I wouldn't put it on my registry, but some babies need it. Um, gas relief drops, we never used either. Again, some babies need it. We didn't, so I wouldn't put it on there. Baby rub. I don't think we ever use this, so again, I wouldn't put that on there. A lot of these things I wouldn't really necessarily put on your list until I think you actually need them, and then you can just go out and get them, and I think it's a lot cheaper. Um, this is the one that I would recommend you put on your registry, is the Boogie Bulb Babel, Babel, Baby Nasal Aspirator. This one comes apart, so it is really easy to clean, so a lot of people say these type aren't good because you can't clean them. Well, this one comes apart. We can clean it just fine. I think it works amazing. Um, we still use it on my child and you know it's only $13 and it's latex free if that makes any difference. Um, I don't think you need to support for the nose Frida and all of the filters and all that other fancy stuff. Just get a boogie bowl. Okay and then this thermometer definitely not worth it. Do not spend your money. Just get a regular thermometer. You can stick it under their arm. You'll get just um uh, accurate reading. We never actually even got this thing to work. It actually made us really mad and upset, so I would not put this on my registry. Um, the rest are just toys and books. As you can see, we have different books that are LGBT friendly. Um, if you want a list of some of the books that we got, please let me know and I can make a video about what books we have gotten for our child that are LGBT friendly. Um, so that's really up to you what you put on your list. And then we just had one toy on there, which was the spiral toy, which he actually used quite a bit. We put this on his, um, play mat, which I showed you up there and on his little car seat, uh, arm thing when we were in the car, this is a hundred percent worth it. It was, it was really great. So that, that is everything I put on my registry. There's definitely things that we got that were not on this registry that I would a hundred percent recommend. So on the next video, I will talk about what items I would put on our second registry in addition to what you saw here. So hopefully you guys like this video. Oh, and by the way, the reason I really like babylist.com um, is because you can actually use an app 
as you can see here, so you can see there's a bunch of different options for places that you can buy from. Um, I'm just clicking on Amazon here, and then there's lots of items. You can pick anything. So I'm just going to click, click, say Pampers, and then, you know, click on which one you want. Click Add to Baby List. You can click what category you want it in, uh, the quantity that you want. So let's put in three. Click Add Baby to Add to Baby List, and then that's it. It's been added. And again, you can go to multiple different stores. You can add your own. Um, you can just go into the store, use it that way. So I really love it because it's really simple, and you can use it from multiple different places, uh, multiple different you know stores, websites, whatever you want. So people aren't stuck to just one store. So hopefully you like that. Again, look out for my next video of items I'm going to add to my second registry. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.